Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ, and anyone else who might be joining our service this morning. This is when we offer up our prayers of intercession. We ask the Lord Jesus to plead our cause before our Father God in the power of his Holy Spirit. Please join in these prayers at home. After I say, Lord, in your mercy, the response is, hear our prayer. So let us pray. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, we praise you for the teaching you give us about the perfect Father. And we thank you that it's so relevant after 2,000 years. Creator God, you've shown your generosity throughout time and across the world. We give you thanks because just like the Father in Jesus' parable, you show us your unconditional love, which we do nothing to deserve. You set aside our failings, you accept our repentance, and you restore us with compassion. If we presume on your kindness, you still bless us. Father God, help us to love you, more sincerely and more deeply. In humility we say, generous Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, we humans inherited a beautiful world, but we know we are ruining it. In this way, we clearly identify with the profligate son wasting his father's legacy on our selfish lifestyle. Help us to save our environment and whole species. May all people come to enjoy clean water, clear air, and life-supporting flora and fauna. Lord, we lift up to you those places where there is deprivation, starvation, violence, and weather catastrophe. We implore you to show your love for people without love or safety. We pray for the Middle East, for Hong Kong, Burma, Sudan, and South Sudan. In earnest, we say, forgiving Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. Father God, we don't only spoil our natural resources. Like the elder son in our parable, we grow angry for the wrong reasons. We mar our humanity. We too easily reject different cultures, creeds and opinions. Please help us to respect honesty to protect truth and to work for the common good. We thank you for the media like the BBC, which speaks truth to power. And we thank you for the Christian example set by our Queen, Archbishops, Bishops and clergy. We pray today for leaders of decency and integrity worldwide particularly we lift up for your divine intervention the presidents of the usa belarus venezuela brazil zimbabwe and of syria consoling lord in your mercy hear our prayer Holy Spirit of God, as the world struggles to cope with COVID-19 and Britain moves towards final de Brexit decisions, grant us all more tolerance and insight, but mostly more of your grace. We pray that health and social care may be offered with efficacy, decency and respect tempered with compassion for the sick, the dying, 
and the poor. Please bring your peace and loving embrace to those who mourn and grieve. We continue to thank you warmly for all our self-sacrificing frontline services. In remembering that you alone are sovereign, we trust that your will be done. Loving Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we thank you for the refreshment of the summer and pray your protection on those going away and those staying at home. We ask you to bless and support all those who carry on working, especially those home carers who get few breaks and also those isolated indoors. This week, we also pray for all students receiving school results. We remember them, their families, their teachers, and those in higher and further education struggling to deal with the implications for the futures of our young people. Lord of light and enlightenment, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, just like the fine father in our parable today, you do not abandon us when we need you most. We thank you for the healing balm of your Holy Spirit right to the end of our earthly lives. Let's pause to remember those who have died recently and especially for their loved ones. We pray for anyone known to us personally. And we pray for all our dear Canford friends and relatives who are suffering today in body, mind or spirit, as noted on our rector's news sheet. Merciful Father, Accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen.